Hey Wildcats, this is Quinn Western reporting from the Orion. Happy Orion Day! Today is October 3rd. Be sure to pick up your copy today. The Academic Senate will meet tomorrow to discuss cutting four programs. The social science areas of concentration in African and paralegal studies were proposed to be discontinued because no students have enrolled in the program in the past five years. The Master of Arts program in social science education is also up for discontinuation because no students have enrolled in the entirety of the program's decade-long history. The Senate will also vote in, on the discontinuation of the College of Agriculture's option in animal science to be replaced by a Bachelor of Science program. You can read more about this on theorion.com or in today's print edition. Now to John with the weather. What's up, Wildcats? You can probably already tell from looking out your window. We're walking outside. It's going to be another hot day. If you're anything like me, you're wondering what to do in this hot still in October. But don't worry, although it's going to be 95, it's going to drop down to the 80s the rest of the week. But let me give you the details. So today, it's going to be clear skies with a high of 95 and a low of 54. And then tomorrow, it's going to be in the 80s. It's going to be 88 with a low of 52. And then on Friday, it's going to be 84 with a low of 52. So Friday's going to be the coolest day we've had in a while. Look forward to that. Enjoy the rest of your week. And now back to the newsroom. Thanks, John. Glen County Sheriff Larry Jones will meet with Chico State President Paul Singh and State Park officials today to discuss the Labor Day float in the Bell Memorial Union Auditorium. The toxicology report for Cal Poly student Brett Olson was released yesterday. It revealed that he was intoxicated and had used cocaine near the time of his death. Olson died from asphyxiation due to drowning. His death would be classified as an accident. Now to Annie with sports. Thanks, Quinn. This is Annie Mays with your Chico State Sports. Men's golf finished in a three-way tie for third, just two strokes behind the winner's circle at the Fall Division II Invitational. Redshirt freshman Scott Raber shot even par to finish seventh overall at two over par. That's the second time in three rounds he led the Wildcats in scoring. Men's golf will be home for the only time this season, next Monday and Tuesday, hosting the Interwest Insurance Wildcat Classic at Sevillano Lakes. The community is very encouraged to go and watch this impressive young team play. And now to campus to find out our students' Chico bucket list with your word of mouth Wednesday. Um, something on my Chico State bucket list is to find a way to climb to the top of the water tower of Yolo Hall. Okay, I want to steal some of the street signs and spell it Chico. One for each street. My Chico bucket list is to go to every bar in one night downtown. <laughs> Time to get a move on my bucket list. This is Quinn Western. See you cats tomorrow. Cool.